Hey, Mike Tushir here with another guided programming coaching call question. Uh, this one says, I see that you look down in your pause squats. Uh, is this for the same reason that Mark Ripto suggests this? Um, hard to say, to be honest. Um, I've talked to Mark a number of times. I don't pretend to have a full command over uh, the things that, that he uh, espouses. Um, in our conversations, he hasn't. Uh, we we haven't disagreed strongly on on anything, so I, I don't think that uh, there's disagreement there to be had. But uh, basically, the reason that I do it is because it was suggested to me by by Mark and by uh, uh, some people that um, that learned under Mark as well. Um, and when I tried the head down position, my squat mechanics were improved. It's it's that simple, you know. So for me as an athlete and as a coach. The outcome is what's important, you know. I mean, the reasons why and how we arrived at these conclusions, like that stuff's important too. But first order effects, the outcome is important and it's not to be overlooked. And if I try something and it works, then the rationale is interesting and it could be important for later, but the rationale doesn't have any bearing on the observation that it worked. So uh, kind of a long lecture uh, to say, it was suggested that I try it. I tried it, and what I noticed is that in general my squat mechanics were improved. Um, I, I had an easier time sitting back a little bit more, you know, not excessive, but uh, enough for my squat style. So I was getting a little bit better balance between um, range of motion in the knee and range of motion in the hip. So uh, it just turned out to be a better mechanic for me. Now I will also say uh, that I've had other people try the head down mechanic and it either made no difference or it didn't help them their technique so we don't adopt it um, something else that that I found is um, and this is getting pretty far into the nitpick uh, range is that um, raising my head up on the concentric seems to seems to help uh, in terms of um, getting my hips through faster, which helps to alleviate some of the uh, hamstring issues that I've had in the past as well. So uh, there's a big individualization component to it, but I mean that's generally what I would do. If, if it improves your mechanic, then stick with it. If it doesn't improve your mechanics, then then don't. I mean, <laughs> so um, I mean those sorts of you know cause-effect sorts of relationships are important and not stuff to be ignored.